Hi everyone, so this is one of the demo videos for your final project. Now the final project has a couple steps. Um, I wanted to do it that way so we um, can kind of check in as you complete each step. So in the first video I went over how to make the thumbnail sketches. You're going to submit those to me first and then um, you're going to then complete the final drawing based on one of your thumbnail sketches. Now. In the assignment, I ask that you tone your paper, and you've already done this, but I'm just going to go over it again, and I'm just going to go over the materials you need for the final project, as well as a couple exercises we did earlier in the semester that you can refer to to help you with this. So for the materials, you're going to want to use your white eraser. Mine's a little dirty, but I showed you how to clean that, as well as your gum eraser. It's called the kneaded eraser. It's the one that's kind of like Play-Doh, and you can pull it to kind of clean it up and it's really soft. You want to have both of those erasers. You want to have your chamois, which is the soft fabric. And if you don't have that, a piece of like, um, like a rag or a cut up t-shirt or even a paper towel could work. And then you want to use your different kinds of charcoal, which I have like the chunky charcoal and then I have the vine charcoal. Um, and if you don't have charcoal, you can be in touch with me prior to the um, before you submit your final project just to let me know and if you're doing it in pencil you should still be smudging um, just put like a piece of paper towel around your finger so the other things I want you the other thing I want you to do is I want you to tone your paper so adding a mid-tone which we did in the earlier part of the semester as you can see this is my paper and if you do this on a smooth surface it'll look great I'm doing this on a wall with some bumps that's why some things are kind of coming through but you can use your charcoal and you're just rubbing it all over the paper. Now you can see all the bumps that are coming through. That's just because my wall in my studio has like dry paint and things on it. And that's the only reason why that's happening. If you do this on a piece of cardboard, it'll be smooth. And then you're going to use your chamois. And you're just going to smooth it all out so that you have like a mid-tone on your paper, okay? I mean, you can even make that a little bit darker by going over it again. So you're just covering the paper and now your paper has a mid-tone on it and then you're ready to start your final drawing and the things I want you to think about when you do your final drawing is I want you to consider the composition which is the arrangement of the objects on the page um, and you know sit at an interesting angle maybe just don't sit straight forward maybe sit to the side or try different things, but base this on your thumbnail sketch. So you're going to just choose your favorite thumbnail sketch. And you want to consider putting it on the page. And once you start drawing it, the reason you need a light source is because I want you to have a wide range of values. And the values you remember is like the dark to the light, which we did um, earlier in the semester. So you want to have a range of these grays, as well as a lot of darks, as well as a lot of lights. And you're going to get your lights by pulling the lights out with your erasers, okay? You're not going to have white by just leaving the paper blank. Do not leave the paper blank. Fill the paper with charcoal, and in order to get a white, white highlight, you're going to pull it out with the eraser like I just did there. And the other thing you're going to refer to from earlier in the semester is your texture chart. Now, your texture chart was like a different mark-making um, chart that showed you different ways to kind of create texture by creating pattern and by layering marks. So that is something you're going to want to do for the final project as well. Okay, so you're going to do your six thumbnail sketches. You're going to tone your paper. You're going to choose one of your favorite thumbnail sketches and you're going to enlarge that onto the paper. Now you're going to be looking at your still life setup the whole time. 
you're not drawing your thumbnail sketch, you're drawing the setup, okay? And make sure that you have some type of light source on it. Um, even if it's like putting your flashlight from your phone nearby and like shooting the light onto it, just so that there's some dramatic effects, okay? And so we'll talk more about this on, on Blackboard Collaborate.